All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. Now for the introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. If you first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Shanghai, China, presenting the challenger, the warrior. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 116 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Kamen They touch gloves and we are underway. Strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the pretty takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. So 
One minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank, and not as good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the heads. Somebody's going to sleep. Oh, a huge block there. Good stick. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the toe. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches and punches? Punches and punches. He's landing him upside his opponent's head over and over again. Big kick. Takedown defense holds up. Trying to establish that jab once again. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And he landed the right hand there. Right under the elbow. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. All right, so he lands another hook there. He's already landed several in the round, really starting to find some consistency with that one. He's finding a hole for that hook. He does a phenomenal job of keeping the elbow tight, really twisting his hip into that punch. All right, single collar tie now. There's no give on that leg kick. Over and over, he's landing these big bodies. Both guys really throwing with authority. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice strike. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's in custody. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Seconds remain in the round. Again, back into this position. Look at him with his hip to that kick. Oh, he throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes he's throwing it over and over again. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is. You can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. Stay moving. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Big punch lands through the middle. 
Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, nice counter punch there. Again, we talked about the reach advantage off the top of the show. Certainly paid dividends for him there. Blocks the shot. Big power shot there. Oh, big punch land. Oh, nice. Nice. Beautiful body kick. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to his bullet. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Big punch from the clinch. Well, missed on that one. Lunges forward with a left there. Three minutes remain in the round. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Big kick lands. Lands the right hand. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Punches clean, followed by a right. What a punch. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixed up the motion at which he moves. Now connects with the right. Lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. Oh, straight right. Liver kick. Stuff to take down, no problem. Oh, massive knee to the head. Nice punch lands over the top. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Beautiful kick. Well placed with the kick. Slips to avoid the right. The guard lands the right hand. There's the kick, it's blocked. Ooh, head kick lands, it's hurt. Oh, that's a nice strike. Rips the body there. Oh man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard, he kicks so hard every time you see him drive his chin into his opponent. Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you've got to like the output on display here. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so that's the end of the round. The cut on the cheek is only getting worse. Thankfully, it is below the eye and not above it, but still a source of adversity for him here.
All right, no Telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I got to be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a Telestrator <laughs> into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really kicking up with the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really start to drive it home. And we the end of the fight, and we still so evenly matched in the fight. It's not so close as well. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Just misses with the jab. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big kick lands. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Powerful leg kick lands. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Well, you gotta think he's gonna enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and Really, a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the office. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to the room right now and firing up the video to look at beauty in action. And he was the one causing all the action. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Look at the turn on that kick. Checks the leg kick. Right on the button. Spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Going to the body there with the right kick. Oh. That one was strong to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Big body kick. Back and forth we go. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. The right hook to the body. Oh, man, you can hear it. Bone on bone. Nice elbow land. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. And they separate. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down and cannot take many of those kicks. And they separate. Good punch. Oh, spinning back foot out of nowhere. Beautiful spinning attack there. Well, he has certainly found the road. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut land. Big leg kick lands. Just unable to quite find that range. He's back in the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Oh, nice job to block the kick. That knee might have landed there. Another nice knee there. Well, we know knees to be some of the most destructive strikes in MMA, and he's got that part of his game going tonight. He has got the knees going. He's throwing them in bunches. That knee might have landed there. Once again, employing the knee. Oh, he's got his back. He's got to get him in the air. Try to to the oh man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. 
Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. And he landed a nice hook shot there, DC. He landed the hook exactly where he needed it to be, and threw it with ill intent. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Boom! Body kick right there, landed perfect. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs, that is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you've got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Misses with that punch. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got to hurt very badly. Ooh, what a punch. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. How good is that right hand? Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that other foot. Big knee to the body! <laughs> nice body kick. Good defense to block the strike coming back. I mean, he's cutting down the side with his beautiful leg kick. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, straight right. Oh! Big body kick land. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Just missed with the straight left hand. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut of the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finishes. Connects with a right hand, pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. And they separate. Under two minutes to go. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. What a body kick. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made the purpose. Missed with that attempt. And they separate. Well, that nose isn't going to be able to take too many more as he doubles up on the jab there. So good to watch MMA evolve and watch guys now fight behind the jab. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Big punch land. Ooh. Beautiful 
straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. Whiffs on that offering. Under a minute to go in round four. Some serious bruising going on in and around that right thigh. May want to check a leg kick or two. Oh, that right hand is on point. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, and oh, maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Final seconds. Oh, big left. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so in entertaining five minutes, let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these will really start to take their turn. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Beautiful strike. Just out of range with that left hook. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Big kick land. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Just out of range with that right hook. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Superman punch now. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt there, DC. I'm no analyst, but that one was pretty telegraphed on his best effort. Yes, he may as well have sent a text message to his opponent saying, I'm going to shoot the moment the fight starts. Of course, he got defended. Set up your attacks, young man. Checks the light kick. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Nice loop and punch. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Man, look at his torso. That just can't feel good. Look at the size of that bruise on his body, and you gotta think his opponent is gonna continue to attack that area. What a tricky head kick. Low head kick right here, too. Under three minutes now to go in the fight. Great punch. Misses again with a right punch. Beautiful body kick. Oh, big uppercut there. Didn't get the knockdown, but that is a significant strike. A very significant strike. And now his opponent may... You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Real nice body kick land. Oh, man. You jumped out of your seat a little bit after that. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Nice placement there on the left hook counter. Visibly limping here. Right hand on point. 
Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Ooh, what a punch. Just out of range with that right hand. Got the single collar tie. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Real sneaky body kick. All right, less than a minute. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize this was coming high, and now he's got a hurt fast. 45 seconds remain in the round. Ooh, big shot lands. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Way to hide that leg kick. What a title fight it was, what a showcase it was for this division, but at the end of the day, the champion just did a little bit more, and you gotta think he gets the nod, right? I believe it was the championship experience that allowed him to push through in those spots that he needed to in order to keep his championship. I agree with you, J.A. I think he keeps his belt. decision is in it resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 49-46. Declared the winner by unanimous decision and still the retained as the headline inside this arena here tonight. Congratulations to the still heavyweight champ. Uh, once again, proving he's the elite among the elite. In a division where everything can change in a second, this guy has brought consistency.